Oh, how are we, lads? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to round 14 of the NRL. It's going to be a fantastic round of footy. Obviously, no Thursday night football because of State of Origin tomorrow night, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. But hey, we got footy Friday night, Super Saturday. We got Sunday afternoon football, and we've got Monday football because of the public holiday this weekend, where it's the traditional Queen's birthday game between the Bulldogs and the Dragons. If you're new to the channel around here, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Righto, let's get into it, man. Let's get into the round 14 tips of the NRL. It's going to be a very great round and a very unpredictable round considering we don't know who's going to back up from State of Origin. The team list have been named, but... Don't always believe what the team list are saying because there could be an injury in the origin tomorrow night. I hope not, but anything can happen between Wednesday and Friday or Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, whenever your team plays. So let's get into it. And it all begins Friday night football at 6 o'clock down there at Brookvale Oval. It is the Manly Warringah Seagulls up against the North Queensland Cowboys. Now for mine, this is the game of the round. It is 6 versus 7th. On the ladder, it's a blockbuster of a game. Manly versus North Queensland. Both sides have been playing some really good footy as of late, which promises to be a really good game. The Manly Seagulls are favourites here, though, at Brookie at a dollar thirty-five. The Cowboys are at three dollars twenty-five. Now, look, I thought Manly the last couple of weeks have been very, very good. Tom Trebojevic is playing out of his skin, as we know, and the Cowboys, well. They've been good, but they just can't seem to put 80 minutes together. They've had a couple of games where they've led by a big margin and they let the other team back in it and they've always had a bit of a scare. You know, so this game does prove to be a little bit unpredictable. But look, Friday night, Brookvale Oval, Seagulls versus Cowboys. I'm going to tip the Cowboys this weekend. Look, if they lose, I probably won't tip them against the top side again this year. I think the Cowboys, they've been playing some really good footy. Jason Tamalolo is back. It should be a really close game, but I'm going to tip the Cowboys to beat the Seagulls Friday night. I'm going to go the Cowboys to win by four. If I had to pick a score, I'd go the Cowboys 22 points to 18. And I reckon Jason Tamalolo will be the man of the match on Friday night. The other game on Friday night is at Nostrada Jubilee Stadium at 7.55 p.m. It is the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks up against the Penrith Panthers. The Panthers are favourites here at $1.45. The Sharks are at $2.75. The Sharks have been in some great form as of late. They smashed the Gold Coast down there at Coffs Harbour the other week and they beat the Dragons a couple of weeks ago in that local derby game in the Panthers. They had their first loss of the season last weekend against the West Tigers, although they didn't have many people, many players playing for them. They had about seven or eight out. Look, the question remains with the Sharks. Did the buy last week affect, does it affect the Sharks going into this game? Does it ruin their momentum? They won two in a row, they were looking good, then they had the week off of the buy. Penrith, they were beat by the Tigers last week, they had eight of, eight of their stars out. I think the Panthers will bounce back here. I, I don't think they'll win by a whole lot. The Sharks have been playing some decent footy as of late, but I just can't see a quality side like Penrith losing two in a row. So I'm going to go the Panthers to win this game by 10. If I had to pick a score, I'd go, I'm going to go the Panthers, 24 points to 14. And I reckon um, Dylan Edwards will be the man of the match in that game on Friday night. Let's move on to Super Saturday. The first game kicks off at 3 o'clock in the afternoon up there at Seabus Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. It is the Gold Coast Titans up against the Sydney Roosters. The Roosters are favourites here at $1.30. The Gold Coast at $3.75. The Gold Coast have fallen into a have fallen into a dirt hole and they cannot get out. They are in trouble, the Gold Coast. If they lose this game, it's going to be very difficult for them to play finals football. You have a look, have a look at the Titans next couple of games. They've got Manly next week. They've got the Raiders the week after, which is a winnable game. And then after that, they got the bye, and then they play Parramatta. So they got a pretty typical draw, the Gold Coast. Now, the Roosters, on the other hand, they get back a few players. Sam Walker's back. 
I think it's going to be a very important game for the Roosters. Brett Morris just announced his retirement yesterday. You would think the Roosters would pull themselves together and be like, righto, let's go out there and do it for Brett Morris on Saturday. And I think the Roosters will win on Saturday against the Gold Coast. And I think they will win well. I can't see the Gold Coast troubling the Roosters. So I'm going to go the Roosters to win this game by 20 points on Saturday afternoon. If I had to go for a scoreline, I'm going to go with the Roosters 28, the Gold Coast 8. And I reckon... Um, I reckon Sigwa Takiyaho to be the man of the match on Saturday afternoon. Let's go, let's go to the next game on Super Saturday, and it all begins at 5.30 p.m. It is the South Sydney Rabbitohs up against the Newcastle Knights. This game is being played at Stadium Australia on 5.30 on Saturday. Souths are $1.20 favourites here. Newcastle are at 5 bucks. Look, it's going to be difficult for the uh, Newcastle Knights. They've been... Struggling the last couple of weeks. They had a good win against Manly a couple of weeks ago, and then they sort of, you know, they got a reality check against Parramatta on all, on all, on Old Boys Day. So look, Souths, they had a good win. What was it? Two weeks ago now, the Souths. Yeah, they de they demolished Parramatta. So look, Newcastle. It'd be good good to see them be competitive here, but I just can't see it happening. I think Souths win and win well. Look, they're paying a dollar twenty. Knights are at five dollars. South Sydney will win this game easy. So I'm going to go the Rabbitohs to win this game by 32 points. I'm going to go Souths, let's say, 36 points to four. And I reckon Cody Walker will be out for a big game. So Cody Walker for man the match in that game on Saturday night. The other game on Saturday night is the bottom four clash. Two teams that just absolutely suck. I'm sorry, but these two sides have been diabolical this year. Saturday night, 7.35 at GIO Stadium in Canberra. It's the Canberra Raiders versus the Brisbane Broncos. The Raiders are $1.35 favourites here. Brisbane at $3.10. Canberra have had more dramas this week. Curtis Scott's been stood down for an alleged fight in a pub or something like that. The Broncos, Carmichael Hunt will make his NRL return for the first time in a long time. They've dropped him out of Sarko. They've got rid of him. I put Herbie, Herbie Thumworth to fullback. Look... It's going to be a freezing cold night down there in Canberra. Probably minus five degrees. Conditions suit Canberra. But look, like I've been saying all year, the way Canberra are going, how can you tip them? They've been playing so poorly. And look, you know what? I'm going for an upset. I'm going the Broncos. Yeah, I reckon they'll beat the Raiders. And I don't reckon they'll beat them. I reckon they'll win well, the Broncos. I reckon they'll put a score on the Raiders on um, Saturday night. We've seen the Broncos do some good things. This year, you know, they went down to the SCG a couple of weeks ago and they bashed the hell out of the Roosters. No one saw that coming. I reckon the Broncos will go down there Saturday night with the correct mentality and they will beat the Raiders and they will beat them well. So I'm going to go the Broncos to win this game by 18 points. I'm going to go the Broncos to win. Let's go 36 points to 18. And I reckon Albert Kelly will be the man of the match on Saturday night. Let's move on to Sunday football, the first game at 2 p.m. at Central Coast Stadium. It is the New Zealand Warriors up against the Melbourne Storm. The Storm are $1.20 here. The Warriors are at 5 bucks. Look, the Warriors may get back Adam Fenor Blake, but we've seen Melbourne without their stars, and they may get some of them back from Origin. It all depends on how they pull up, I guess, from Origin Wednesday night, but Wednesday to Sunday is a pretty good turnaround. Look, the Warriors, they should have beat the Cowboys a few weeks ago, but they somehow they blew it again. Look... I'd love to see the Warriors win this game, but I just think Melbourne will be too classy. So I'm going to go Melbourne to win this game by 14 points. If I had to go for a score, I'll go to the Storm, 26 points to 12. And if I man the match, I'm going to go with Nico Hines to be man the match on Sunday afternoon. The other game on Sunday football begins at 4 p.m. at Bankwest Stadium. It is the Parramatta Eels up against the West Tigers. The Eels are favourites here at $1.30. The Tigers are at $3.75. Parramatta had a great win over, a great win last week over Newcastle. They bashed the hell out of them. Walker Blake looked amazing. It was the best game he's played in quite some time. And the West Tigers, they um, they beat the crap out of a Penrith side who had about eight of their best players out. So can you? It, it's hard to really. It's hard to get the form on the Tigers. It's hard to get a read on their form. But I think this game will be very close on Sunday afternoon. I think the Tigers are capable. You know, we saw on Easter Monday the Tigers they nearly beat the Eels. They made a great comeback late in that game, and they just fell short. But I'm going to tip Parramatta here. I'm going to go Parramatta by eight. 
If I had to go for a score, I'll go Parramatta, 26 points to 18. And I reckon Clint Gutherson will be man of the match on Sunday afternoon. And the final game of the round is on Monday afternoon, 4 p.m., Queen's birthday. It is the, it's an old rivalry going back a couple of years now, going back a few decades, actually. The Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs up against the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Dogs and the Dragons, an old rivalry. Should be a good game. The Dragons are $1.20. The Dogs are $4.50. Look, the Bulldogs, we all know how bad they've been this year. You know, they're probably going to win the wooden spoon unless they can win two or three games and try and avoid it. The Dragons on the other end, you know, Jack DeBellin came back last week for the Dragons and they absolutely destroyed the Broncos off the park. I'm hoping for a good game. The Bulldogs did have a good record over the Dragons, but the last two or three years, or two or three, Two to three years, the Dragons have destroyed the Bulldogs in most of their games. So that that little buggy record's all gone now. But look, with Jack DeBellin back, Matt Duffy trying to convince the Dragons to get a contract. I think the Dragons win on Monday, and I think they win well. I just don't see where the Bulldogs are going to score their points. I'm just saying if Kyle Flanagan's back. Is Kyle Flanagan back? No, he is not. I don't know what is going on at Canterbury. The Dragons should win this game well. You know, I think the Dragons would be a better team if they were to get rid of Corey Norman. But for mine, Dragons to win this game, I'm going to go the Dragons by 24 points. So Dragons to win, 30 points to 6. And I reckon Matt Dufty will once again be the man of the match on Monday afternoon. So guys, they're my tips. I've gone with the Cowboys, the Panthers, the Roosters, the Rabbitohs, the Broncos, the Storm, the Eels, and the Dragons. The Broncos and the Cowboys are my specials of the round. If you guys enjoyed my round 14 tips, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.